our ambition for the CDT is this should be regarded worldwide as the leading place to do doctoral research in sustainable civil engineering. So why do people come to Imperial? The first thing they think of is the reputation because, let's face it, we're one of the best universities in the world. But there's lots of other things as well. You get to meet loads and loads of great people. So one of the unique things about the CDT is a grand challenge project. Um, on this project you work with three other people in a group of four. Uh, this is unique to the CDT and it's very different from a conventional PhD where you tend to start working by yourself straight away. So it's good to meet people from a variety of different backgrounds other than your own. So we worked on a hypothetical scenario where an earthquake would hit London. We decided to look at how the electrical system would be impacted and what ripple effects this would have on other systems and also on the economy. So nowadays in society we're focusing more and more on sustainability, especially within civil engineering where projects tend to have a huge impact on the environment and last for a very long time and Imperial is at the cutting edge of that research. Undoubtedly the sort of people who will come to the CDT are already in demand from industry but we can add another level of professionalism and opportunity to them. Not only the links with that leading academic staff, but also the links with industry that the CDT will give them. We particularly need people of high academic calibre. They will find the solutions to our future problems and they will support the delivery of civil engineering for the future. As Head of Department, I'm highly supportive. We will graduate engineers with a broad understanding of sustainable development and with time should set them up to take leadership positions. I think sustainable civil engineering is good for those people who want to have an active part in the world, who want to see the big picture of things. CDTs are about training the future leaders, leaders for industry and for, for research, so that, that they're the sort of people that we really want. We want people who are passionate, who have a vision, a vision for where they're going and what they can achieve. 